welcome back. We had a little brief hiatus for two weeks. Sheeta, I hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day. Thank you. Yes, I did. Yes. Happy Mother's Day, belated. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And Crystal, what'd you do for Mother's Day? Uh, I hung out with my mom and we went plant shopping and then we went out for dinner with the family. Uh -huh. So. I got you. All right, very cool. Uh, really, really, really quickly. That mask is that actually pumping in? Is that pumping in oxygen? Yeah, it has. I mean, because it's narrow, but you, yeah, you get air. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the only is thing Travis is Travis coming in today, or he went in late? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Is he here? Not like him. Oh. Yeah. Where are you should... going, Crystal? Um, I'm heading into Brooklyn. Um, oh. I'm going to meet up with the friends and then tomorrow I have a coffee class at 10 a.m. Oh. So I'm going to stay overnight okay. and have fun. <laughs> you on the train with your see-through mask. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to get one because now I see how it really looks. It looks like she's good. <laughs> yeah, um, it was on nice. Amazon. I know I've seen them, but I was just wondering if it was going to like, um, the thing? Oh, like fog? Chrome up. Yeah, like fog. It, it doesn't. The only thing is, I have a wide head, so it does put a bit of pressure. But if you don't have a wide head, which I don't think you have a wide head, it'll fit probably more comfortable. It only lasts for like four hours, and it starts irritating. Oh God, but it's nice. I'm gonna have to. Yes. I'm gonna have to get one now. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that would be so good for tonight because I'm going out tonight. That would be perfect. See exactly, because then you won't ruin your lipstick. You have a good right. lipstick. Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm moving. Saying. Travis, to your Majesty. Hey, Travis. Oh, he's connecting. Oh, all right. Hello. There he is. <laughs> hey, Travis, you see Crystal's mask? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Want to get over? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Want to get over? <laughs> it is different. Hey, don't be knocking my mask, okay? <laughs> don't be laughing at her mask, Travis. That's that is the bomb. Dot com. It's different. It's different. It's cool. Yeah, Crystal, nice. I, like yes. it. I like it. I like it. It's like futuristic a bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just try to find the damn exit. Well, you know, I just want to welcome everybody back from a brief hiatus. Welcome back, everyone. And welcome back. We're actually welcoming back, and we actually have a guest on coming on the show shortly. So um, I just wanted to start off really quickly by, believe it or not, I don't know if any of you heard, but a uh, girl, J-Lo, she's at it again. And yeah, this time, yeah, well, apparently- What's she doing? She, I didn't hear, tell me. She's back with Ben <laughs> Affleck. What? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> what? <laughs> And it's driving, it's driving it's driving A-Rod crazy. It's driving him nuts. He's showing I thought they pictures. They were so cute together, her and A-Rod. Yeah, he's showing pictures. A-Rod's showing pictures of the dinner table without uh, J Lo seat and you know, without her kids there being with his kids. He has gotta let it go. You know, she dumped your ass, call it a day. I don't know what else I could do. Exactly. Tell exactly. Get over it. But, I don't know. To be honest, Ben and Jen too. That was pretty bad too. They, I mean, they were actually calling them Benifer after a while. That's that's. Oh, yeah, sick. I remember that. Wow. You remember Benifer? I, I mean, didn't even know that. I didn't even know they were calling them Benifer. That would be like calling, <laughs> yo, Trav. That's like calling you and Izzy Trizzy. <laughs> Trizzy. <laughs> Trizzy. <laughs> but that's what I'm they would say. Do. Something I ain't gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to. I don't even want to think about it. But you know, it's funny that Crystal D is on her way to Brooklyn because they're also talking about the fact that New York is slowly reopening now. And yeah. uh, what, what's what's really scary though is that they're trying to lure the tourists back to New York. The last thing we need is more tourists. Believe me. Exactly. Uh, we don't need it. That's we what I'm saying. It. We don't need it. It's insane. More tourists. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Go really for it. digging that mask, Crystal. Look, I just look at uh, uh, the uh, green with them shades. I know. It's a superstar. <laughs> well, the other thing I wanted to let you know is that we do have a guest uh, coming on today, yes. and she's getting she's getting ready. It's uh, her name is Yvette Kelly, 
And she has a company called Yvette K Booty Fitness, getting all the ladies ready for the bikini season. Yeah. And she's what? all about she's all about working working and strengthening the backside. So it's Yvette K Booty Fitness. She's gonna be coming on shortly. So, That's exciting. Yvette K Booty Fitness. Okay, let me see Miss Booty Fitness. Let me see so, Miss Booty Fitness. Yeah, so when she comes on, let's you know, hit bombard her with questions about getting into shape. Because uh, apparently I think she's even working with men on their booty. So I don't even know what yeah. he's working with who? I don't need any work on mine. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You see, all right. He <laughs> Well, you know, since I've been sitting on mine for so long, I think I lost shape of mine. You know, I don't, I don't even think I got one anymore. I think it's a board. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? You ready for this? We just came back from a pizzeria. We went to a pizzeria, and I got a slice. Huge hair, massive long hair on my slice. Oh, man. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I went, I sat down, and, and, and there it is long black hair on my slice. I go back to the counter and I say to the guy, I'm like, look, there's a, there's a hair on, on my slice. Are you kidding you me? A, a <laughs> hair with a pizza around it? <laughs> you know where that came from? You know what he said to me? He goes, you sure it's not yours? <laughs> really? That's you what he said. No, sure it's not yours. no, he did it. Uh, you know, he was, he was really trying to stick it to you with that line. Yeah, I'm telling you. Well, anyway, to make anyway, to make a long story short, I was so in, infuriated on that. I know you were. I just left the slide. I didn't even bother asking for the money back. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to deal with it. I just walked out. I was just pissed. But as I was walking out. I was waiting for you to say you, you turned over some tables or something. Yeah. No, no. But when I was walking out, I said, unbelievable the size of the roaches in this place. So people like literally turned back around after that. And they walked out too. But oh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> just want to let everybody know that Yvette Kelly is in the waiting room. She's looking to come on. Uh, I'm going to bring her on now. Let's get yeah. ready for Yvette. Let's get her on. Let's get her on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm on location too. We're all on location. I'm at the crash pad today. Not me. I'm home. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> yeah, crash you know what? Pad. Yeah, man, we're pad. Having, yeah, I'm at this is the crash pad. Yeah, this is. Not I even was wondering what, what was all that in the background this crash pad. It didn't look like the place you was at. Yeah, that's the chance. That's the crash pad. That's what I see what's that's going that's on there. there. Got the TV back there. Oh. Little pictures I just have water back. to cheers with today. I just have water. I got the yeah, water. I don't have nothing. I got my regular I was too lazy to get, go upstairs. Nah, I was too lazy to go upstairs and get some. I was already down here and I didn't feel like going up. I am see, thirsty. I you for always being ready to cheers. Mm -hmm. That's how we go. Is Yvette on? Did we see yeah, her? She's on. I, I think she is on. All right. Oh, I see you got a cheers to Yvette. Cheers. Hello. <laughs> hey, how are you? Here we are. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, everybody, this is Yvette Kelly from Yvette K Booty Fitness, and she is all about strengthening the backside. Uh, Yvette, I was going to give a brief little intro, but you know what? I did before you came on, so the floor is yours. Okay, well, I'm Yvette K from Yvette K Booty Fitness. Um, what I do is I specialize in the backside, uh, total okay. body, total body fitness as well. But you know, my my expertise is the butt. <laughs> that's good. Okay. That's good. <laughs> um, if anybody has any questions, I'm here to answer. I really um, I was a model, Yvette K the model. Um, but there's so many models out here. You don't know who you are really. When you say I'm a model, when they mm -hmm. say, "Well, model, what do you model?" No, you don't want to just model clothes. So now my niche is fitness. I'm a fitness okay. model. Okay. Like okay. So uh, what are what about what is like an easy workout for someone who hasn't worked out on their booty? You know, um, easy. All workouts to me are easy until you okay. until, <laughs> until you, put, until you add. Yeah. Once you start adding weights, that's when they become more difficult. Because mm -hmm. um, okay. moves are still the same with or without the weights. It's the moves are still the same. But if you're doing total body loss and you want to lose your belly, the upper yes. body, and, yes. and keep the booty and those thighs, keep them nice and tight. You mm -hmm. gotta do a rounded workout. Well, okay. it workout. Um, you're doing upper body, you're doing cardio, and you're doing weights. Okay. Yeah, well rounded. You have to be well rounded. You can't spot check. Okay. I want to lose my belly. And I'm my butt. Yes, that's what I need. I need to oh. lose my belly. Um, I look like I'm five months pregnant. No. 
<laughs> Stop it. I really do. Oh, I really come on. Do. Yeah. I don't believe I'm serious. you. But um, the best way to uh, start activating your abs to get that corset look uh -huh. is called wood chops. Okay. Wood okay. Wood okay. That helps. Okay. Uh huh. And do then, I lift my leg too, or just nope. do that? Okay. Okay. You do not standing. 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 Okay. Standing. Okay. okay. That's good. Chops. Then you're gonna do side chops. Okay. X chops. And then you're gonna do golf going up. But you're gonna okay. do this. You're gonna do this with a weight, or you're gonna do this with um some bands. Okay. The bands. The band. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes, and that gives you that hourglass core. But you only do that twice a week. I work out six days a week. Sunday Ooh, is my week. Day. I haven't done that in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lucky if I could do I'll start three. off with two, though. I'll start yes, off with Yes, I'll start off with three. <laughs> yes, three days would be better. Okay, three. Three right. days. And if you're trying to lose weight and tone up, do cardio for yep. 30 or more. Okay. If you're trying to just tone... And uh, mm -hmm. build, you know, build, build and lose. Still do cardio for thirty minutes, but you also want to incorporate those weights. Do okay. not of those weights. But I'm gonna tell you the best cardio there is. Mm -hmm. That's your master. It's what? Uh -huh. Oh, I always the see people on step, that machine. The step machine. Okay. Oh, yeah, step, yeah. Because you can do it as if you're that's, doing. That's the, a big sweat. But see, I'm not in a gym right now, so what's the difference? Like I have a bike cycling. Is that good? That's good too. Because when you okay. cycling, make sure you do your moves where you're putting a lot of pressure on your feet. You know, the um to make the tension yeah. it's high on your bike. So when you're putting the pressure down, you're hitting that bottom core. Mm. Just like leg ups. When you sit down, it's just like leg ups. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that's exciting. Well, yeah. <laughs> I did like the pepper when I was at the gym. I would sweat like the first like two or three minutes on there. I'm like yeah, don't be that's like you the pound sweat. Huh? You drop the pound sweat. Right, right. Hey, you know, I got I got a question. Uh Yvette, are you doing um are you doing any uh are you do you have any male clients that are trying to get their uh, butt worked out? Well, I do have some clients that uh, some people that hit me up, some males that hit me up, but um they're not really serious. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> see, I know. <laughs> what can you do? What can you do about working out at home? though? I mean, you were talking about going to a gym six times a week, but what about for people who just like, like Cheetah said, she just can't go to a gym? Yeah, yeah well, I'm not ready yet. All you need is a, a TRX system, which is just bands. They have them at Walmart, like maybe twenty something dollars or less. Um, mm -hmm. when you put it to your door, and you're basically doing the same moves. You can still do the same wood chops, the same. It's everything that I do, I can I'm do in or at home with bands, booty bands, band, um, the X bands, all of those, all every, all of those work. Um, medicine balls, anything you can get at home. It doesn't even, when I first started working out, I was working out with bottles of sand, bottles of water. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, and for, um, for my, dump, for my um, barbell, I had my mm -hmm. broom. And my um, <laughs> and I had my uh, old jugs from the laundry, the laundry um detergent. At the mm -hmm. end of the oh wow, that's smart. So I mean, if you want to do it, you, it, it there's always something to do with it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Well, that's a good thing, I tell you. All right, so I don't know if I'm gonna do it because I'm I'm definitely not. <laughs> I'm doing it. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do it because I need I need my stomach to go down. So, so do you have a social I won't media? Much yes. Do you have a social media like the Instagram that I can follow you that we could all follow you on or? Yes, do. It's Yvette K Booty Fitness. <laughs> oh, okay. Yvette K I'll Booty that. Fitness. Yvette. I, wanna, I love it. Even though apparently Yvette. nobody has Yvette. nobody has anything to drink, I'm gonna give a cheers on Yvette K Booty Fitness. Okay, cheers. Yeah, yeah, of I course she gives a cheers. cheers. I don't have nothing. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, is it e -B with e -V or is it Y-V? It's Y-V-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Okay. And I'm going to start doing um, Zoom workouts because uh, I don't know how this COVID is going to be going and I need some clients other than in the gym. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Okay. 
have you had any strange experiences with uh, people coming to work out with you or any strange experiences yourself working out? Just people passing gas, you know, when the weights get heavy. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's about funny. it. That's about it. You know, you go down for a squat and come up and it's like, <laughs> I mean, I'm done. Whoops. I, I think, yeah. <laughs> I've done it myself. That's about as crazy as it's gonna get. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> you bet. I'm the crazy one out of bunch, but I'm gonna need you to stand up and turn around because I up. gotta see. All right. Oh, I like that dress. Yeah, oh, I like girl. the dress. See, okay. that's yes. Okay. All right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they all wanted you to stand up and turn around. They just didn't want to say anything. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> cheetah, 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 cheetah. Wow. I like mm -hmm. that dress, girl. I really like I, that yeah. dress. Lovely well, host. You know I, think it's, I, think it's, I, think, I think it's safe to say that uh, a vet's workout works. Yes, it does yeah. work. Right now, I'm building, I'm building my own 12-week program. Okay. okay. Um, next week will be week four for me. Um, and since I've started this, my own program, started working on it, I, um, I've lost three inches in my waist and gained two inches in my hips. And so booty. what are you eating? How are you eating? And you know, that's what's crazy is I eat what I want. Go. Okay. I eat what I want, I just don't overeat. Well, I listen to my body. Mm -hmm. That's my problem, I overeat. Red wine and water. Oh, I like red wine too. Me yeah, me too. In the glass, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, listen, red wine, red, red wine's a good thing. We know that red wine's a good thing. Let's be in the glass. You don't, you don't get that from the white wine. How tall are you? What, what's your height? Five five. Five eight. Five eight. Oh, okay. okay. That's okay. tall for a woman. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> tall for a woman, trap. <laughs> yeah, five eight. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only five feet, so that's a little taller. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm 163 pounds. Okay. That's, that's good you, though. So, okay. Okay, let me ask you this, though. What made you decide to get into the whole uh, fitness, the fitness side of modeling as opposed to all the other modeling that you were doing? Well, yes. Um, just the fact that I wanted to stay in shape. I didn't want to be little anymore. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be big anymore. So in order to stay stable, I had to do what I've been doing and that's working out in a, in a, on a steady note. Instead of today I'm gonna work out because I feel like it and then the rest of the week I don't feel like it. Now I'm on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Sundays is off. Tuesdays and Thursdays are my um, active rest days. And that's it, you know, it, yeah. it's enjoying to me. I just, I love it. So how quickly, how quickly is the Are you working out at a gym or are you doing home? I'm sorry, Cheetah. Okay. Oh, okay. You working out at a gym or you're at home or both? I do both. Mm. Mm. So the clientele's rolling in now? Um, I have three at the gym when they come. Mm -hmm. You know, when they come. <laughs> 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 I can't hold anybody's hand, but <laughs> right. Right. So, you know, that that's the hardest thing for me. I'm not going to lie because, I mean, look, let's be honest. I'm not going to go work out my booty. But let me just say this. The hardest thing for me to do is to get up and go to the gym. Yeah, it's the hardest thing for anybody to do because um, nobody really wants to get out of bed better yet to go to work. So just to get up and go to the gym. No, mm -hmm. that's why I don't mind doing it on Zoom. I don't mind if, you know, if a person says I don't really like to go to the gym, then that's fine. Because as long as you have some you don't really need no bands, because when you're first starting out, you need to know. um the moves, you need to know how to stand, you need to know your positions, you need to know the actions behind the positions that you're doing before you mm -hmm. start incorporating a whole lot of weight, but do, do weights. <laughs> right, mm -hmm. so you know what, I'll tell you what, why don't you, why don't you take us through your day? Take us through your day as a, uh, as a fitness, uh, uh, as a fitness instructor slash booty fitness instructor. Okay, well, I get up in the morning, I take my dog out, <laughs> <laughs> I feed him, I get myself together, I go to the gym, um, hopefully my, one of, one of my ladies are there, if not all three, um, once we get into, we all, get on the, we all get on some, we go on over each the TRX machine, which is the, uh, uh, 
circuits. It's a steel circuit machine. That's all. Uh-huh. And then once we're done with that, once the workout is over, most of the time it takes about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. Once that's done, we check, we, we chuckle, 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 chuckle. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm on to the next one. Um, then I'm on to the next, which is me. I get my workout in because I'm working out with them. I'm, I'm not really working out with them. I'm just showing them the moves. Mm -hmm. right. So by 12 o'clock, by 11, 30, 12 o'clock, I'm pretty much done with wow. those. Now I'll come home and I'll sit down and I'll study to see what, study what I've done as opposed to what the next day is, is supposed to consist of. Excuse me. Wow. Bless you. Wow. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Sorry. <laughs> wow, that's a uh, that that's that's how I see. I don't think I'd ever be able to do that, whether it's a part time or full time. I can't do it. I'm too busy yeah. lifting the glass, or I'm I'm too busy lifting the fork. I already know I'm too lazy to do it. I'm not even gonna lie. I, Peter, I, I, you are <laughs> something. You cannot do it. You can always do it. Don't say you can't do something. Not gonna happen. It's a mind over matter thing. That's all. Right. It is. Yeah. It I think is. it's just to start, actually. Yeah. Once you once get you once start, it's like it really is. It become it starts to become. Mm, what you, what's the word I'm looking for? Like routine. Routine. Yeah. It just yeah. It's natural for you. That's all. But let me ask you a question. <clears throat> yeah. And how long have you been doing this? By the way. As as far as me being strict with it. Yeah. Um, I'd say a year. A year? Okay, a year. so the when you first started, was there, I'm pretty sure it was, with soreness, muscle oh soreness, my. where you can't make your arms straight, and you know what I'm saying, that kind of thing. I'm going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, there's pain. Right. And to this day, there's pain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So you still feel the pain. That's what I was trying to get at. If you, if you felt it, it then, are you still feeling it now? It and when you felt it, did it discourage you at all at any point? It, no, it didn't discourage me. Once you get past the fact that if once you warm your muscles back up, you know, mm -hmm. if you flex and stretch without working out, right, then it's better. And as you're flexing and stretching, those sore muscles, they're actually growing. Oh, so that's why, okay. okay. <laughs> the soreness... Oh. Oh. Coming together because when you're when you're building your muscle when you're doing doing a workout building your muscle you're damaging your muscles to build them up. Right, right. Okay, okay. So the sort of never goes away. Mm. And sometimes yeah. I actually look for it because I need to know that I'm working out the right muscles. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so that you do you do a full, so you're basically doing a full body with most emphasis though on on the, on the backside, but you you're doing everything pretty much. Yes. Mm. And you take all of your clients through the same thing, pretty much everything. Pretty much, unless they have a, um, a different desire. Some 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 women, like one white woman, she wanted to just slim down. She didn't want to build a bum. She didn't want to build anything. But that was earlier on. She doesn't even come back to the gym anymore. So I don't know what happened to her. But she didn't want to build anything. She just wanted to lose the weight. She wanted. Right. She said she wanted to tone what she had, but like I said, she didn't have anything. She just wanted to lose the weight. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have anything. <laughs> she didn't have anything at all, huh? No. That's no. usually the case, right? <sighs> yeah. She didn't have anything. She didn't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> but she wanted to lose it. <laughs> Whatever it was, she did that, right? Yeah, but then she's walking around looking like a boy. <laughs> Hey, I'm just totally here to understand because I haven't the out messenger, since right? COVID started. So I've been really trying to get my mind right. But one of the things where I would work out with my daughter and we would be at the gym doing weights. Yeah. And I would be so sore the next mm -hmm. day or two that I'm like, okay, it's no way I can go back in the gym and move anything because I hurt Cause so you'll be bad. Hurt again. Yeah. yeah. Like, and so we had this conversation take, like, one time before. Three or four days to not hurt. To mm -hmm. go back in the gym to work out again and hurt, hurt again. again. Now I know the second hurt wasn't as bad as the first hurt because I'm like mm. so out of shape. Like if I go walking a couple of miles, everything hurts. Oh everything. wow! But now, I, see, I know that I need to get in the gym because now since I've gained some weight, mm -hmm. everything aches. Yeah. So I need to start moving because I, like I wake up in the morning, my neck is sore, my back is killing me. The last couple 
gave me. I was like, oh my God, this little bit of weight. I gained like 15 pounds, which is a lot for me because I'm really small. And yes. I can feel it. My thighs are rubbing together. It's like, okay, I got to do something. I got to really do something. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like I'm well, not ready to go back to the gym and to go outside. Some days it's too cold. Some days it's just too cold. It hasn't even been too hot. It's just too, too cold for me. And I'm like, okay, I'll do it tomorrow. But I have stuff I could do inside the house. Like there are stairs I could walk upside, up and down the stairs and do something. But I just don't. Fight or crawl and up I, your stairs. Huh? Fight or crawl up your stairs. Oh, okay. So what does that work? Everything, huh? It works everything, and it's good for the midsection. Okay. Now, I spider crawl up your stairs. I don't know. Demonstrate. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see if I can demonstrate in this. <laughs> it's just like you're going to go down like this. I really like that dress, though. You're going to walk up the stairs just like this. You know how you, like you're climbing. Oh. One you stair up. at a time or a little, a couple of stairs? No, the whole I'm, stair. The whole, the oh. whole stair. No okay, because I don't have a whole bunch of stairs. It's probably about five or six. Okay, so um, since you only have five or six, do mountain climbs up the stairs. <laughs> but you're going to be like, you're going to be crawling, but you want to go up and up. Find your 14, 12 to 14 steps. Now, your five steps are going to be good for doing this. Okay, yeah, I could do that. I definitely could do that. that okay. That's for your lower ass. Okay. That's for your lower ass. <laughs> I can't even concentrate on you with this dress you have on. It's just so cute. Good. I can't, I, I'm just like, oh my God, that dress is so cute. I would look really cute in that dress. My dress would look great. I can't even concentrate. So you're going to have to come back on when you have some workout attire okay. on because you're too cute. And sexy today. I can't. I can't concentrate. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she can't. I just can't. <laughs> Cheers. <No. laughs> so, Normally, I would have a glass of something about. Yvette, let me ask you this though: all of the, um, all of the, uh, all of the great, um, all of the great booties in the world. Who do you put as? Give us the top five. Top five booties. <laughs> top five booties that you know worked out. Oh my goodness. I want to say Beyonce. I'm really too, too not sure about her ass, but I think it's hers. Beyonce, Cardi B's, and her. <laughs> hey, she could afford one, right? Yeah, Cardi B. <laughs> Please okay, don't so say Beyonce, the Kardashian Cardi women because I'm just about to. The Car I, I, I don't even think those are their asses anymore. That's my point. That's I, my I, point. <laughs> uh, it might be Chloe's. It might be Chloe's, but I know that's not. But I haven't seen her lately. But theirs looks so boring right now. It yeah, just looks like, but that is definitely not Kim's ass. Right. It's not. That that would not be me either. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And I had thought about getting boot, uh, a booty mm -mm, bag. Mm -mm, don't do it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, I'm not. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I want these. I need some. That's what I'm saying. I, that's what I was saying too. I'm, I might could do that, but not. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> So right now, we're at what? You, you, you gave us only two. We need three more. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, let me see. She the sidetracked her. I know. Hey, Talk about the Kardashians. Whose tush looks good? That's real. Bernice Burgos. That's hers. You ever seen her? I have. I have seen her. Yes, that's three. Um, let me see. Would, would you put JLo's up there? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of iffy. Like, is it real or is it not? Yeah, because one minute it's there and the next minute it's like, is that Jayla? I don't know. So, Jayla always yeah. had it, though. Even back, back when she was a fly girl, she had it. Angela too, right? Bassett, though. She's yeah. nicely shaped. Angela Bassett. And, yeah, she's nice. And what's the other girl? Who Regina else? King? Yeah, she got a nice one. She works out. She works out on a regular, too. <laughs> yes. See, I'm, I'm trying she to look like that. Like was that five? Why are you laughing, Peter? <laughs> was that five? It's a great conversation to have. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's, great. it's great when you have women talking about it. You know what I mean? I mean, that, that, right, that's gospel right. right there. For a woman to say another woman has a great ass, that's gospel. I mean, correct. am I right? Yeah. That's gospel right there. I mean, mm -hmm. for a guy to say it, it's like, yeah, whatever. But these are women actually saying this. 
This is tremendous. So, all right. So, what do we? So, event. What do we have so far? You said Beyonce. Who's the Beyonce. next one? Oh. Uh, you said um, Burr, what's it? Cardi B. Yes, Cardi. Kelly Rowland has a nice one too. <clears throat> Kelly Rowland. Oh, yes. Cardi B. Heard the fake. No, I thought Cardi's was real. I thought she got her boobs done, not a boot, her booty done. I don't know. It looked the same like the Kardashians to me. Always <laughs> in a big, big ass. It went to the same. Uh, it all looked the same. Place. <laughs> <laughs> tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Yes, yes. It does. Yes. <laughs> okay, but continue. How many we got so far? We just got two. Know, How you, many cheating, we got? Cheating, you keep doing. Adding. You keep adding cheating. Huh? We're up to like 15 I'm, I'm, now. Um, <laughs> at the top 15. Trying to help. <laughs> trying to help. <laughs> I really, I really don't, I don't really don't look at the stars. I'm more into the Instagram booties, you know, like Natalie Tor okay. Tor Tor you know, stuff like that. I'm looking at real women because I don't consider right. the entertainment real women. <laughs> right. Right. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Out there and have those surgeries anytime they want to, and they're gonna also have a personal mm -hmm. trainer. You can't just go out here and say we need a personal trainer and go get one all the time. Mm -hmm. But I will interject and say this: that um, normal everyday women are getting butts as well. They are yeah. filling up those clinics, getting butt injections. And Can you know I something? It's, you know it's funny you bring it up because normal everyday women, even the women that can't afford it, are, are going to places yes. where. They're getting they their, they're getting it loaded up with like rubber cement. I don't know what's going yeah. on there, but you they're know, doing I mean, they, all that they, unhealthy stuff. Yeah, they're doing they're doing too much, and it's too a much. lot. It's a lot of them doing it now, especially these young mothers that has has these kids and just been stimulated. Because mm -hmm. it's an easy fix instead of trying it, to work out and, and but have what your they, natural body tone. But what they fail to realize is just because you're getting this work done, you still have to keep it tone. Gravity's still gonna pull. Mm. If you don't work out to keep it up, it's still going to come down. Hmm. Mm. I don't think they okay. be thinking about it. Okay, I got one. I, I got think one. they think it's just going to stay right where it is. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> I, I, got, I got a natural butt. Serena Williams. That girl is fine. Ooh. Yes, she is. That's one right there. I they, know it. I know it. She's fine. And, and her sister, though. I love their body. Yes. Yes. I love yes. Their body. She I is love diesel. Them. Well, I can't argue with Serena Williams. I mean, yeah, I, 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 I feel that. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yes. So I think I got five there, though. <laughs> Was that five? I think we're beyond five by now. I mean, we mentioned a whole lot of people. <laughs> we, we got five real ones, though. Some, a lot of them weren't real. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. We were, we were making yeah. mention. But you know the situation now with, with getting the uh, getting the butt lift versus the butt job because they're getting that too. The other they, they, women now are starting to get. I hate to say it, but they're starting to get butt cancer. I mean, it's unreal out there. Yeah, that <laughs> cancer. They're getting butt cancer from the implants. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, yeah, I'm I mean, not can, you can you imagine? Yeah, I, I don't cancer? know if they call it that, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's when they get those. Um, it's it's the injections or the uh, implant. Now, when they're doing the fat transfer, I haven't heard, had too, I heard of too many problems. Yes, and don't yes. some of them leak? The fat transfer, like have leaky uh, situations. Like, now, you know, that's when you get the fake stuff put in. Yeah, that's when you get that fake stuff put oh, in. Oh, that okay, okay. Now, yeah. For <laughs> implants, they may leak. Yeah, you know like you know, if you that. sit that's down bad, hard on your yeah, body, I would never want that. Say, you know what they call that? <laughs> they call that when at least they call that balloon ass when one size squeeze, oh, one size get bigger. They call that. I wonder what that ass. feel like, man. That just oh, that's, that's that must be bad. That must be bad. It yeah. is bad. Can you imagine getting cancer of the ass? I mean, what, I mean, of, of the of the glutes, <laughs> cancer of the butt. I mean, how, what do you do in that situation? Well, you're gonna probably hear about it a lot more often because I'm telling you, a lot of everyday women are getting butt yeah. injections. You can't tell anybody. Butt. You really can't tell anybody. BBLs, and I, and that's another reason why I didn't didn't decide on that surgery. And ready to build up what I have is because I don't want to look like everybody else. I don't want right. to come out right. Like my name. It does look like everybody else. Everybody. Everybody else. But you know, the, the, those skinny Caucasian girls be up in there doing their squats and yes. they be running <laughs> and they be lifting up their little bit of tissue. So I know it could do something. You know? Yes. <laughs> a little bit of tissue. I don't know, Chita. Yes. They're, they're squatting, but I don't see anything. 
they are squat they are building that muscle do you hear me they go in there and they do their cardio they run on that treadmill all day and yeah. then the other type of day they do squats they do squats and they're doing those they getting rid of the fat and they're building that butt muscle and they and they, and they they also double as a handball wall when everything's all said and done <laughs> That's funny. Listen, look, yeah. love, 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 love my white sisters, but they really don't have anything going for them. We know that. There, there's nothing there. No. <laughs> I, did, I didn't say it. I said it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You said your white sisters. <laughs> I'm just not realizing what you said. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's going to come back on me at some point. That'll come back at me. Well, it's going to come back on me. And again, we don't have to worry because we don't have anybody supporting the show except for us. So we're good. We're not worried about it. <laughs> oh, man. Yvette, Yvette, what's your advice? What's your advice to um, uh, young up and coming models or just women trying to get into the game? that want to either a, get into the fitness modeling or just modeling in general, what's your advice to them on how to get started? Especially if they want to do like, if they come to you and say, hey, I want to get a butt lift or I want to get butt injections. Well, first off, they got to know in their heart and in their mind what type of model they want to be. Because if they don't know this going in, they'll be pulled in every direction they can. I mean, a lot of, the, a lot of photographers now, they want to start you out with nude. When most models in their mind, they don't want to start out with nude. Some of them don't even want to start with a bathing suit. So that would be number one. The one thing that I tell them to do, you know, to have in mind, they go. Um, and being a model, have the understanding that being a model, regardless of what type of model you are or want to be, there's always competition. There's more competition out here than there was years ago because you have the social media models. You have the... Mm -hmm model models then you have the it's, I can't even think of glam models you got the fashion models you got this type of model that type of model just know what you want when you go in it um as far as representation goes everybody can anybody can be a manager yeah sure that you do your research on whoever whomever it is that you that, that that's managing you mm -hmm. make sure that the percentages that they're giving you is reasonable even if they're not giving you, if they're not giving you any percentage, percentages, if you're making some profit, get your cut. Mm -hmm. Number mm -hmm. get your cut. Don't let anybody take anything from you that you know you've earned. I've been right. there and done. That. You know, um, if they have dues, pay those. But if they're if they're dues, I had a management team where I was paying two hundred and fifty dollars just to take pretty pictures. Didn't mm -hmm. do anything. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> they need to be wary of stuff like that um it's not all about taking pretty pictures it's not all about just being on instagram or social media it's who you know who you talk to talk to other models even even just even if they need to reach out to me just talk to other models so you know reach out for photographers reach out for um dresses for, for attire anything that they can come they can think, think of or don't understand reach out to other models for right about right mm -hmm. so, yeah that makes sense that makes sense that's that's good advice that's excellent advice because i i can actually say not that i've ever had a career of modeling but back when we had a few magazines i mean i used to hear horror stories <laughs> about some of these young models used to go through male and female models what they would go through so that, that's mm -hmm. That's, that's excellent advice. And what's really wild is the fact that you got certain photographers out there that are predatory and they'll literally prey on unsuspecting models. And the fact that you're saying now that photographers actually want uh, nude models, I mean, you want you to start nude, that's almost insane. I've never heard of that in my life and I've been in the industry for a long time. Yeah, they, they try to coerce you into things that you don't want to do. They uh, try to make you feel comfortable and then they try to give you, make you feel like it's your idea. <laughs> what I did, I didn't say anything. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. We had what I mean. I mean, that, I, I've heard things about photographers, but that's beyond now. So now they're even. Well, I guess young, unsuspecting models are not going to know, or not even young models. A model in general that's green trying to get into the game. Well, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, right. I guess it was my idea. That that's awful. That's all. Right. And what they need to understand too. Uh, Tyra Banks is Tyra Banks. Mm -hmm. 
you know, her, that's who she is. That's what she does. She had her show. But the game is not Tyra Banks. <laughs> it's, 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 right. it's, not, it's not the Tyra Banks era, you know. No. Mm -hmm. No. And managers are supposed to manage you, but they don't. They tell you to find a photographer, mm -hmm. find this. You need clothes. You need this. Well, what are you managing? Mm. What are you managing? Right. Okay, I can get my clothes, but help me find a photographer. I'm new to this. Mm -hmm. I don't know. About it. Then when you find a photographer, the ones that you're paying, those are the ones that's pretty much legit sometimes. Mm. Sometimes. <clears throat> sometimes. But the ones that is free, those are the ones to be wary of. But see, when you're starting out, you don't have the funds to just say, oh, I'm gonna put two, three hundred dollars on a photographer, on a good photographer. You're gonna pay 50 or less or free for bootleg across the street so you can have these pretty pictures to put up on Instagram, Facebook, and whatever else you're gonna put it on. And you still don't get no money from it. You don't get put in magazines. And when you do get put in magazines, they're sorry magazines. Mm. Yeah, sort of like a, um, sort of like a, uh, like out of the back of a trunk type of magazine. And yeah. there's, usually, there's usually just all content. There's no advertising whatsoever. And you know, right. it's just somebody that's putting it together. Mm -hmm. And it's literally having a printer that'll print maybe a couple of copies just to say, oh, yeah, here you go. You're in a magazine. Meanwhile, you're not. There's no distribution. Right. There's no anything. So, yeah, that, that's actually a serious thing to look into. Absolutely. So, I got to tell you, that's great advice. Yvette, phenomenal advice. And we absolutely appreciate you coming on the show and sharing that. Um, what, one other question: you, you brought up Tyra Banks. Speaking of Tyra Banks, what do you think? Of, what did you think of her starting out and the whole thing? I mean, she was originally what a Victoria's Secret model. Oh my, now, Tyra, I'm in love with. I would marry her again. But <laughs> 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 you know, every girl wants to be on top. You know, you want to be on top. Every girl wants to be on top when she thinks of herself as a model. Tyra right. led the. Tyra led the way for us curvy girls, period. But she opened the door too much. Mm -hmm. Because now everybody wants to be a model. Everybody wants to be on top. And that's mm -hmm. what I was saying. Everybody is not going to be on top. So when you come in this, you need to know what type of model you want to be. What type of model you are. Are you a fitness model? Are you a hand model, a foot model, a body model, fashion model. There's so many models out here. You need to know which one you are, period. Right. Now, Tyra, I'm sorry. I just love Tyra. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't, who doesn't, right? I mean, who doesn't, <laughs> right? No. Well, I got gotcha. you. Hey, listen, she's definitely, she definitely uh, opened the door for a lot. Definitely mm -hmm. opened the door for a lot of, uh, for a lot of models. I, yes, I, she's definitely one of the pioneers. No doubt about that. Mm -hmm. No doubt about that. And if she ever wants to come on the show, we'll gladly let her come on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But speaking of that, um, oh, I just, oh and, and look, look who, look who decided to come back on. There she is. Hey, Gina. <laughs> well, I was transitioning, so I needed to just put up my little, my little sign. Yeah, we you see know, you uh, back in the stationary spot there. I see. Yeah, we. Back, yes, back. Back. the stationary. <laughs> Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Well, did you say something? I think Yvette, yeah. did you say something? Love her picture behind her. Everybody likes that picture, right? Thank you. <laughs> this is my background when I do my podcast. <laughs> nice, nice. See, hey, let me get the chance. Color. That's the second. Mm -hmm. That's the second part-time, full-time home. <laughs> I gotta put the shades back on because I got some some stuff in these shades because I can't see everybody's looking blurry. Were you drinking already? You weren't drinking. You were drinking water. No. Yeah, I was drinking water. I might could get a drink right now. Oh yeah, I got some wine in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vet, do you, uh, no, but it, it, Vet, do you have anything to in there? We, uh, we'll do a we'll do a final yeah, pause. Do you have anything to drink, event? Oh, yes. Do I need to pour some more in here? Is that how I drink already? Oh, the okay, pain. yeah. Hold up. Let me, get, let me get my drink. Hold up just a second. It's coming. All right, go ahead. Are you trying to flash that pinky ring all up in the what screen? Kind of, what kind of wine is that, Yvette? What's it called? 
This right here. I didn't even know I was doing. To drink Stella Rose. I didn't have any more left. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I got it. It's a real cheers now. Yeah. <laughs> cheers, everyone. Cheers Salute to you, Ben. Cheers. Yes. Oh, okay. okay, Travis. Your cheers is your phone. And cheers to Event K Booty Fitness. Yes. Yes. Thank you. So anyway, Yvette, we want to thank you so much for coming on the show. I know we were having a little technical difficulty, but everything everything came through fine. Mm -hmm. um, hoping you come back again. Um, oh, we'd love to have you come back. Um, we'll Please do. I'm, I need your um your social media stuff because I definitely have to follow you, girl. Because I'm trying to get that dress. You gotta tell me where you got that dress from, so I could be cute too. Lovely. Can't tell you that. Other color. I got huh? in different you got it in different colors. Yes, it's lovely wholesale. Girl, wait. I'm going to have to send you something on your social media. I ain't going to remember that. I don't have no okay. paper. I'm, I'm going to send you something. Wait, let me see. Uh, well, Chini, you can always wait till Monday and watch the episode. Lovely wholesale. Lovely wholesale. <laughs> lovely wholesale. That's, well, that's what she said it was, right? Yeah, lovely yeah. wholesale. And Sheena, on Monday, you can watch the show and get it again if you forget. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get it again when I forget. Cheers. <laughs> and here, and, and cheers to a free plug to lovely wholesale, lovely mm -hmm. wholesale everyone for all the dresses and whatever else they got going on. <laughs> lovely wholesale. And uh, Yvette, I want you to call lovely wholesale and let them know you got a plug on our show and I ask sure for will. not even ask for a check. Tell them you want a check. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So. Thank you so much for coming on, and um, we'll we'll have all of your information up on our website as well, and uh, all the other social media. It'll all be up there, probably everything by Monday. So look out for Monday because the show will be up and running. All righty. All right. Anything yeah. you want to? I'll be sure to follow you if you see Travesty, Your Majesty, on there. That's me. Okay. So <laughs> I, I just saw your thing, so I could follow. You could follow. I'm me following if you, you want. too. You know, I'm no one important, but you know, I, I'm letting you know I did follow you now. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> follow you too as soon as we get on and Yvette not that I'm stalking you but I've been following you but not that I'm stalking you just that I've been following you <laughs> make sure you close close the windows tonight okay. oh. <laughs> close those blinds yeah, well, Yvette, let me just say one thing about that you're, you're closer to travesty than you are to me so watch out for <laughs> where are you where are you where are you located in North Carolina Oh, in North Carolina. Okay, okay. Mm. What part of North Carolina, close, close girl? To, uh, uh, Cheetah too. Where? In here. Girl. Uh, one more time. You're fading in and out. Goldsboro, North Carolina. Goldsboro. Oh, okay. My son is in Durham, so I go up there sometimes oh, too. It's like um, I'm a, I'm a have That's an hour away from you, right? Yeah. Depends on how I drive. <laughs> okay, girl. Okay. Well. <laughs> Yvette, thank you so much again for coming on. We really appreciate it. And um, nice we'll to meet you. We'll be in touch. Well, we got to we got, we, we got definitely right. something to come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just come back. Just to <laughs> yeah, you could do that. We love when people do that. I'm a talker. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Especially. Well, we you talk, Tita. Okay. <laughs> All right. Be safe, Yvette. We love you. All right. Love All right, you guys. Yvette. See All you. right. Take care. All right, you too. Bye. Uh huh. Bye. Yeah. All right, and then number three. Uh, Crystal, yes. Crystal took off. She um she, she of course she was on her way into Brooklyn, so yeah, she she's on the train. train. And you know it's it's never any really fun to be on a train trying to uh, either a be on the phone or b even podcast something. So you know, yeah, you know pain in the neck. Mm -hmm. yeah. Without a doubt. So anyway, listen before before we all break out, um, it's almost that magic time. We got a few minutes left. Um, welcome back again, everybody. And uh, yeah. I just want to let everybody know, I know you always laugh at me because I bring up some really uh, funny things or actually oh. stuff that's like completely irrelevant and trivial, but... What you this got this something... week? No, this is, this is something really interesting. Okay, so the American bald eagle, right? We all know at one time the eagle was completely almost in It was on the endangered species list. It was almost extinct, that, right? Uh-huh. That's something well, now apparently the American bald eagle is like overpopulated, and what they're basically they're doing is shoot them all and make them extinct again. No more. No, 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 not yet. They haven't ordered that. But what they're doing, <laughs> okay. what they're doing is they're hanging out up in Canada, mm -hmm. 
And what they're doing is they're they're literally swooping down and stealing people's pets right off the leash. Yo, you know what? It's funny you mentioned that because I didn't know this about that they were overpopulated right. now. But my nephew who lives in Orlando said there was a bald eagle there, and he took a picture of it and everything. I was like, why is this bald eagle in Orlando, Florida? He's like, I don't, I don't even know what they look like. It was right on the telephone pole, and it was huge, you know, bald eagle. I was like, that's definitely a bald eagle. I was like, maybe he got lost or something. I don't know. But like you said, yeah. maybe yeah. that's why. They're probably just but all over now. Apparently, right in um, Vancouver is where it's happening up in in, uh, in Canada. And some guy was walking his, like, little miniature whatever, and the eagle came right down, took it, ripped it out of the guy's head, off the leash, took everything, off. took off, and it was gone. Yeah. And you know what's funny though is that you know usually the eagle doesn't do a lot of that. Usually what it does is it waits for the osprey to to attack, and then once the osprey gets it and brings it back to its nest, the eagle beats up the osprey and just takes it. That's what I say, just like a typical American beats somebody <laughs> else up and takes it. <laughs> <laughs> right. So anyway, that's what was going on. But now the eagles are really it's so overpopulated they're fending for themselves. So that's what they're doing now. They're, they're going after people's pets. Yeah. Wow. So and migrating. <laughs> Wow. Really if there's one in Florida, so yeah. I'm telling you. Well, you know, I didn't see any really big birds until um I got to Richmond where Cheetah was at. I started seeing like really some serious birds. I was like, I never saw anything like that. Well, I, d- I didn't either till I came here in Georgia. There's a lot of falcons and hawks here. Yeah. Which oh. makes sense after the sports teams, right? But anyway, yeah. yeah, um, there's a falcon. He comes to this little tree here every now and then. And actually, you see falcons all over the place, but they use—they don't come but so low. I think they yeah. like to be high up. So right. Every now and then, you'll see one come down and grab a squirrel or something and, and take <laughs> off. You better hope they don't try to take. You better hope they don't try to take Malachi away. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as far as hawks, you, you you might see one of them every once in a blue moon. You'll see a hawk, which is even bigger than the falcon. It's like the second largest bird, you know, next to the eagle. Is so it really? See, yeah, yeah. Hawks are pretty big. The, um, what the, the browns, golden, some something the hawk they have, but yeah, they're they're pretty big. Yep. Wow, I didn't. I I, I yeah, listen, Trav. Where we grew up, I mean, what did we have? We had the biggest thing we Blue saw. Jays. <laughs> and a, and a, pelicans. A crow. Yeah, I think yeah. our biggest birds was the pelicans. Yeah, over on the beach, Star right? School. Over by the beach. Oh, they're pretty big. Um, this is pelican. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Penn. Hey, Mrs. Pelican. Well, but yeah, we used to see pelicans, seagulls, blue jays, sparrows, the typical birds, you know. Well, you, you know what? When I when I got down to Miami, though, because there were a lot of pelicans in Miami, you ready for this? Yeah. We were standing at the beach, and there was a pigeon on the beach, and this pelican came and just walked up to it and just engulfed the pigeon right in front of us. Oh yeah, the pe- yeah pelican eats birds. We never knew that. I didn't know they were carnivores like that. <laughs> oh, I, I know they believe. like fish. Yeah, it just literally that was it, and the 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 the, the pigeon just suffocated inside of that big jowl, whatever you yeah, want to call it. Yeah, the bag. I call it the bag. You know, it's like a big, it's like a big bag. I don't, I don't yeah. know what it is, man. No idea. But anyway. You know what, Travesty, it's it's almost that magic time. So we're gonna yeah. wait for Cheetah Reed to come back. I don't know what happened to Cheetah Reed. She was always doing something in the last close of minutes. You notice? Know <laughs> you know what she did? You know what Cheetah went and did? She just went and redid her hair. I see what you did, Cheetah. No, I didn't. I was trying to I was trying to do something else. It, it takes more than a minute to do this hair. It just it just falls <laughs> and do what it do. All right. <laughs> oh, Cheetah. I don't know, Cheetah. I don't know. I don't know. So, Cheetah, you're going to get in touch with the vet? You're going to work on your booty? Yes, I'm going to work on my butt. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to work on my stomach first because I'm, I'm looking three months, five months pregnant. Oh, come I gotta on. I got to work on that first. There's no way. We don't believe that. I don't know. I got to hold it in. We're supposed <laughs> to go to a party tonight. I got to hold it in all night. Where are you going tonight? Some party. His his friend is, is turning. Um, this is his birthday party, so we're going to do that. Oh, yeah? Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I gotta Starting get a spank with on the, with the red wine already. I gotta right. get a spank on and suck it all in. Oh man! Yeah. <laughs> <You know>, uh, <laughs> Cheetah, did, did what? What did, what did everybody do for you for you for Mother's Day? What did your kids do for your Mother's Day? Did they come by? 
Um, Donovan didn't come down. Uh, Liv came home. It was really um, low key. I spent time with my mom, and then I went over to my boyfriend's mom, and we hung out with his mom. So we had a really good time. Full day. Mm-hmm. Full day of moms. The day of moms. Mm. Mm. Don was busy, so he couldn't come. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, guys, I got to go get ready. All right, all right. All right. Okay. okay. Oh, two. <laughs> we, it's, we it's, out. Love you. <laughs> she ready? She like, that's what it is. Drag this on about. Oh, you know, you know, Cheetah, you know, let me tell you. Let me tell you, Cheetah, you, you, you're rushing us off our own show. This is unbelievable. It, look, right. you know, it's it's about that time, like you say it, Petey. It's, it's about almost that time. time. All right. It's no, that magic. like Peter, you had the uh, tux on a couple of weeks ago when you had the bounce on the meeting we had. That was a topic meeting. That's different. That's usually a half hour. <laughs> All uh, right, you everybody. Left three minutes early, though, but all right. Uh, you, you know what? The, well, listen, the boss was downstairs waiting. You already know that. You already know. So I'm not even going in. <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right. Well, anyway, everybody, have a wonderful rest of your week. Get ready now. Say get ready now. Go ahead and do the sign off, starting with Sheeta Ring. Ma, come over here and tell him we out. Come here. Okay. Oh. Hey, I'm pulling my mom in. Hold you can't on. say oh, we out, oh, though. That's my Hello. Say hi. This is Travis. Hi, Travis. Hello. How you doing? Hey, Pete. What's hey, up? How you doing, Grandma? I am doing just wonderful. How are you? Uh, we're doing. We're doing. And uh, <laughs> happy belated Mother's Day to you. Yeah. Thank that's you. right. Thank happy you. Mother's Day. Thank that's you, Travis. Yeah, okay. Well, so well. now we're just going to say we out. Okay. We out. We out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Trav. Well, I guess we're out. All right. We out. <laughs> we out. <laughs> 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 All right.